Hey guys, it's Monday evening. It's PW and I'm back out in the garage. It's been a couple days since I've been out here. My wife's got a property. I'm helping her with that, so that's another story. But we're making time for the car. Um, I just pulled the channel piece out from the tube and I'm going to try to fit that up. We're just going to look at it tonight and get a rough idea of what I need to do and what needs to get done. I'm going to knock that job out tomorrow. Also, my buddy Mike's stopping up tomorrow and we're going to check these transition pieces out. He's a little better with body work than I am. He's going to push me in the right direction to finish that job out. So why don't you stick around and check us out. Okay guys, I pulled the piece out of the tube. I got it lined up close. We're going to have to trim it. You know, this piece is just rough. It's not perfect. So, you know, we have to finish the bend on it. And uh, aside from finishing the bend, you know, we got to trim both ends. We have to trim both ends. But what I did was I pulled the uh, old package tray out of the bin, had it here in the garage for a couple weeks, been looking at it here and there. And I just got it sitting here for a reference so I know basically where I want this channel piece to lay. Okay? So, what well, the first thing I found out was these stiffening press marks in here from this groove to this groove is roughly seven and a quarter and the notch on our channel piece rests i mean eyeball i'm looking pretty much right in the center of those two pieces so i'm gonna go by that it's close enough guys i'm gonna get in the car and show you right now so now that we're in here i took the measurement from here to here and i split the difference so that mark right there is roughly three and five eighths okay and then I just transferred the line out here. It's just, it's close. It's within a sixteenth of an inch and we're not gonna split hairs over that. All right. So then what I'll do is I'll set this piece in right in the middle right there and I'm just gonna let it relax, okay? And then you guys can see, we're about a little more than an inch and a quarter upwards of an inch and a half long on that side. And the exact same thing on that side, okay? So my plan here is to go ahead and put little, uh, I guess, uh, eight, eighth inch holes, uh, maybe every inch and a half or so down, okay? And I'm gonna try that uh, TIG weld and spot weld feature and uh, see how that works. And if it works good, great. If it don't, then I'll just open the holes up a little bit and we'll use the plug welder. We'll just start plug welding them with the MIG and then sand them down, all right? So we're gonna try to do it nice and neat first with those plug welds. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out about a foot on each side before I before I decide to cut these right and I'll have it welded in right here about a foot on each side right you know and then at that point we'll make our cuts and then we'll know how much we got to bet because these these if, if I was to show you the reason I'm thinking of doing it that way and I could be thinking wrong I'm gonna run up by my buddy Mike tomorrow but the reason I'm thinking that way see this radius is not perfect and if I cut it before, then I might end up with a big gap down there or, you know, whatever. I, I, I just, I would just prefer to be, a, you know, as, I, as I'm welding it in, I'm going to be adding to that radius, just a fraction. It, it, it's going to grow as it goes. So I'd rather cut it after I've started, if that makes sense. If I can, that's my plan. <laughs> I never put a channel in a rear package tray of a 55 Chevy. This is going to be my first time, so well, we'll muddle through. We'll get it. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start fresh tomorrow. My buddy's coming up. I'm going to knock this out. He's going to show me, and we're going to go over these uh, transition pieces and see how close we are. And we're going to bring you guys in and let you see what's going on as well. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's BW. It's Tuesday evening. We're back out here in the garage. We had a little change of plans. Uh, I asked my buddy Mike if we could do the uh, job tomorrow. Him come up and help me go over these transition pieces because I got sidetracked helping the wife down at the property she acquired. But she told me just a while ago, tomorrow's a car day. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so I wanted to come out here and get that channel piece prepped and ready. It's got like an oil film on it. I want to wipe it off with some mineral spirits. I want to lay out where I'd like to have the holes and put the holes in it. Then scuff the back side and put some of that weld through primer on there to protect everything. The package tray already came with the weld through primer on it. So we're good there. So let me get this set up and then I'll bring you guys back in and we'll just take it from there.
Give me a minute. I gotta run out to my truck and get my drill. I'll be right back. Okay, so I forgot my good drill down at the house. I got my old one there, but the battery's dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a regular drill. The reason I'm drilling instead of using my punch, I'm trying to use a really small bit like we talked about last night. I wanna try that spot weld feature, try to make this nice and neat where I really don't have to do a whole lot of grinding. I'd like to either Healy arc them in or just give them that little zap with that spot weld. So that's why I'm using a drill on this application. Okay guys, we've got it all prepped and ready. I'll show it to you real quick, it's no big deal. Same thing as we always do. We always put our weld through primer on the back side. Um, our spacing is inch and a half on the holes, but I, I, I didn't mind a little this way or a little that way. It's kind of like the spot welds. If I took that epoxy off that old package tray and you could see them real good. They, there was no super straight line. So we got them close, but there's a couple in and a couple out. And that's kind of cool. I kind of like it like that. So that piece is ready. I did not put any primer on the other side. We'll paint it after it's on. I don't need to put any layout lines on here. It's already there for me. It's this top edge right here is with the edge of that and it follows that edge the whole way over so we got that all ready to go show you on this maybe you can see it it's kind of hard because it's black but you can see how the first edge the first edge is right here and then the lip of the channel is right on the top lip so that's what we're going to do all right and uh that's that and there you go there's the there's the old quartering mark, guys. Anyway, it's curious. There's that quarter. That, 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 that much of the car. <laughs> what is that? Less than a, that's about a quarter of the, that's why I called it a quartered car. When it got smashed, they cut the whole quarter off of another car, package tray and all, and welded it on. <laughs> so anybody that was wondering, that's what I meant when I talk about the car was quartered. All right, so that's what we got. Tomorrow's a car day, wife already said so. She's gonna work on the toolbox. I think she's gotta put one more red and one more yellow coat on, then she'll start her first coat of the whites. And we'll mix the brown up for a cigar maybe. We'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm just waiting for my buddy Mike to come and I'm setting up this uh, window channel. And it's coming out pretty good. Um, I come in, you know, a little less than a foot on each side with the screws and one towards the center keeping it right there right on the top of that lip right there like we talked about I got a mark right here on this side I was just about to uh, climb in the car and take a radiac wheel and cut that off and cut the other side off and then I'll screw these down and I'll bring you guys back in hopefully Mike will be here pretty soon and we'll review what we got to do in the back but let me uh, let me get this done I just figured I'd show you guys what I'm about to do Okay, guys, how you doing? My buddy Mike's here. He says we're doing all right with uh, the transition pieces back there. He thinks we're on the right track. Maybe just tack the inside of the passenger side, and seam seal the inside, and we'll mud the rest. What do you think, Mike? Definitely on the right track. Boy's doing a good job. 
I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll get it squared away eventually. No. And we're okay with the window right now? Absolutely. Nice the channel. Absolutely. All right, man. Sure, I really, really appreciate you coming out. Guys, that's my buddy Mike. He helps me more than you guys know. I guess his brother Kevin comes up and helps too. I'm going to have to put the all phase name somewhere on the <laughs> car. I don't know. Catch you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, real quick. Somebody asked the other night on live about the uh, one shot and what Kim and I do. Uh, there's no real secret. I take my little popsicle stick. I just dip it into the one shot and I kind of count drops. There's one, two, three, four, five drops or so. Maybe just a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. We don't ever mix very much paint at once. We waste very little. So there you go. It's not that much in the bottom and that's plenty probably for the eyes and the teeth. At least first two coats. I'll show you why in a minute. Right, then I just take this old brush, this old paint brush, and I dip it into the uh, Chroma Flow 6000. All right, and we just put one drop in there, just one drop, just like that. And then I just wash it off with the mineral spirits because we don't want too much Chroma Flow in there. Too much Chroma Flow makes it really runny. I don't even know if this is right or not, guys. It's what we found that works for us. I guess uh, you'll have to experiment and find out what works for you. I clean the mineral spirits off with just a rag. Just get it, you know, so it's not dripping wet. And just stir it up. And then Kim will tell me in a minute if it's still too thick or if it's too thin. And I'll either add a little bit of paint or add a little bit of chroma flow. It looks really good to me not dripping off but it's not too heavy either so I'm gonna she's gonna try this with her good brush and she'll let me know all right I can't remember who asked the other night but uh, she's out here now I, I started tacking the channel in and then she wanted to come out and paint a while so and the puppies are out here so I'm gonna lay off the welding she's saying that the white mixed up pretty good it's not too heavy it's not too thin if it gets too thin it doesn't have any coverage and it's just really sloppy and if it's too thick it just looks lumpy so this looks pretty darn good right now she just did the teeth with it looks really good nice job Kim all right I'll show you guys what I was doing over here I put the uh hi boo boo this is my puppy this is daddy's baby boy it's a good boy all right so I will put a weld on this seam it come out all right but I tried to spot weld feature and it just wasn't enough so I just take TIG welding each little hole and it's holding it down pretty good I just drilled this out because where I have the tech screws it's really not holding very good so I put up I opened this one up hey guys all right we got that channel piece welded in job went a tiny bit sideways not a big deal the Weld through primer and the uh, primer on this uh, package tray. The, the TIG unit didn't like it. It was exploding the, the welds and it, it was just making a mess and I wasn't happy with it. I'll show you where I finally made the change. Over here, it, it exploded the weld and it just, it just the galvanizing was coming out. So I, I, I stopped. I, I didn't want this all over the place. So I got to fix that tomorrow. Just, it's getting too late to do it tonight. But, uh, I opened up the holes with our our drill thing right there and we just megged them in so I'll have to sand a little bit more but I'm confident that it's really in good now all right and it's in the right place and that's all that matters <laughs> so we got it in and it's uh, it's a good job so I'm gonna put this video up you know all right I, I, you guys don't have to watch me sand that but I'll get I'll take care of that tomorrow provided I get a little time um, all right so you I bounced you around a tiny bit today. Sorry about that. My buddy Mike come up. You guys seen him, met him. You know, he, he went over this. He's a really good guy. He's a good body guy. He, you know, he was, I, I need his eyeball because he, he's got a lot of experience with auto body. I have very little to none. So he feels like we're doing a good job. So I'm happy with that. We got that one little bit to weld the inside of that transition piece, just like we did over here on the driver's side. And we'll be done with that job. Uh, you saw my wife working on the toolbox. I put that little tidbit in there about how we mixed the, 
the one shot. Somebody was asking. I, I, I'm sorry, I forgot which one. I'll go back and look in comments. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, we, we showed you that. So you guys take care. I'll see you next time.